My friends and I, we love to get together and watch kung fu films. Any form of Asian cinema. And what goes better with Asian films? Asian food. First, we're going to start with an orange chicken. And to go along with it, a traditional pod thai. All this and more today on Food Nerd. Kung Fu films and Asian cinema have had an influence on American culture since their rise to popularity in the 1970s. With their acrobatics and graceful fighting styles, they bring on a form of fantasy all their own. From such classics as Fist of Legend and End of the Dragon, to modern day films by directors John Woo, Ang Lee, and even Quentin Tarantino. These films have brought us such household names as Chuck Norris, Jackie Chan, and the legend himself, Bruce Lee. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with the orange chicken. First, we're gonna start off with some chicken breast that we've cut up into two quarter inch pieces. We we'll place them into a quart sized bag along with some milk to break down the tissue. And we'll seal it off with no air, that way it gets the maximum amount of flavor into it. Then we'll add three cups of Mountain Dew into a stock pot. Yep, Mountain Dew. Add half a cup of brown sugar. one tablespoon of ginger, two cloves of garlic, quarter cup of soy sauce, half cup orange chili sauce, half cup green onion, half cup cilantro, the zest of one orange, and the juice of half of an orange. Go ahead and place that on in the pot. Now we'll take the chicken, place it into a mixture of flour and salt. Then we'll take the chicken and put it into a mixture of egg and milk. Then we'll take that and place it into some panko breadcrumbs, which is a Japanese breadcrumb. Go ahead and give it a nice coating. Then we'll add some canola oil to a pan and bring it up to temperature. All right, while we let this oil come up to temperature, let's check out this video. All right, boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to fry. First, make sure your oil is nice and hot. Gently place items into the oil and wait until they become a nice golden brown. Next, we'll remove the items. Uh-oh, that doesn't look very smart. He should be using the proper utensils, not his hands. My, that's hot, isn't it? Now, let's look at the proper technique. That's the ticket. He's using a nice pair of tongs. Keeping his hands away from the oil, he removes the items. Yes, sir. That's much better. Next, place the items on a plate or tray with some kitchen paper to drain off any excess oil. Then, season immediately for flavor. And there you have it. Right, now that the oil's come up to temperature, we're looking about 315 degrees, we'll go ahead and put our chicken into the oil. Once they become a nice golden brown, go ahead and take them out, place them onto some paper towels, on a cookie sheet or something like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to strain out the liquid from our sauce that we made earlier. 
get everything out of there except for the liquid. And then we'll add that back into the pot. We're gonna reduce that down by about half. Once it's reduced down, add a cornstarch slurry, which is just cornstarch and water, in to thicken it up. Then you'll just pour that over the chicken. And then go ahead and give that a nice stir. Add some orange zest and garnish. There you have it, orange chicken. Now it's puppy time with Forky and Spoony. Hiya! 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 Hey, what you doing, Spoony? I'm just practicing my kung fu. Hiya! Hiya! What you doing that for? Because it's cool. Wanna play? No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, come on, he's cool. No. Oh, come on. I said no! Please? Fine. Okay, you won't regret it. I already am. I feel my wrath! No! Uh, I told you you'd regret it. Now, on to the pot tie. All right, we're gonna start off soaking our noodles. Let those sit while we do the rest. Add some peanut oil to a pan. Bring it up to some high heat. Then add some extra firm tofu. Give that a stir. Let that brown a little bit. We're gonna add some soy sauce to that as well. Give it a little bit of flavor. Then we're gonna crack in two eggs. Give those a nice scramble. Then we're gonna add in two cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of ginger, half a cup green onion, half a cup cilantro, half a cup dried shrimp. We've hydrated that too. Give that another stir. Then we're gonna add in one and a half cup shredded cabbage. Give that another nice stir. Then one cup bean sprouts. Then we'll go ahead and add those noodles in that we've had soaking. Add one cup chopped peanuts. Quarter cup fish sauce. Half cup tamarind sauce. Quarter cup palm nectar. and one tablespoon of paprika, and we'll stir that through. We'll plate this up. Add a little garnish on top. There you have it, pot thai. Well, that's a wrap everybody thanks for checking out the show make sure to check us out on www.iamfoodnerd.com and follow us on twitter at iamfoodnerd i'm gonna get down on some of this before they get into it so. Pretty pressure. i'll be right there